the work begins in preparing for a new term. In some ways, it's a continuation of the past four years. The work we've done to tackle violent crime, for example, we've already been able to bring down that violent crime rate by at least 10%, and these are August numbers. Uh, one priority that I'm going to be focused on, and, and primary on my list, of course, is tackling the violent crime. The wave is not over. It's coming down, but it's not through. We're, I'm proud of increased patrols in microzones that have the highest rates of crime, of the way we've tackled youth crime and, and gun violence prevention, of the way we're going to continue addressing blight and other nuisances that contribute to crime. And of course, we're continuing to expand court capacity to tackle the backlog, which has already decreased to 2020 levels. The second priority that I continue to be focused on is early childhood education. We plan over the next few months to double down on early childhood education. We're also going to work on expanding our early childhood impact fund, and that will create and expand on innovative evidence-based programs. We've just begun doing some work, but I want to tackle in earnest and begin tackling in the coming months is health and mental health issues. We're committed to expanding our efforts to tackle one of the biggest crises we're facing today. It seems every day, pretty much, we read a new headline about the need for mental health services all around our nation. I've been proud to have stood up to the developers who had been making flooding worse, and, and they came back to try and uh, make it difficult for me to win the election, but here we are nevertheless. We received a boost in the bond. I want to thank the community for supporting that, a $400 million investment in drainage that ultimately we're going to need an additional and significant investment in flood control in Harris County. And part of the work that we're going to continue doing over the coming months and years is identifying exactly how much more of an investment we need. The energy transition is another key priority for me. Harris County's ground zero for climate change, as we know, but we're also the energy capital of the world. And so we are in a unique position. I've met with oil and gas leaders. I've met with uh, community leaders, with labor unions, and I see an opportunity. It's not going to be easy moving towards purchasing 100% renewable energy for Harris County. And that at the beginning of 2023 is a priority uh, that we're gonna push through.